here we go. This is the main page. You should have this in your um, info. Uh, if we scroll down to the schedule, we have this key comp kickstart intro. So really quick, um, who are we? So we'll, we just basically introduced that. We are a team at Alta University, but this course is not just about our cluster. It's about many clusters and we have many partners here who are helping us. Although we wish we had more. So if you're watching, um, please be a partner next year. Um, what's in this course? So day one is sort of general big picture things. So about data, reproducibility, computing, and also a little bit of connecting to prepare for day two. But it's quite generic and stuff that almost anyone could be or should be watching that's doing anything about computing. Day two and three get more specialized. This is the part where we're actually talking about how to use the cluster. And well, not everyone needs to do that yet, but more people do, or, but some people do. So who's attending? So we have multiple universities, as I said. Our demos are based on our own university's cluster, so some of the examples may need adapting to other sites. We will carefully explain what these differences might be and give you time to figure it out for yourself. But the big picture, we're trying to make this useful for everyone. You can ask questions about other universities. They might have people watching the notes or they might have their own breakout rooms or things like that. Uh, you have to talk to your own local people. Practicalities, how it works. So unlike most courses, we can reach hundreds of people. Right now we have 100 people watching right now. So we are a live stream broadcast Anyone can watch and we have these different pauses, sort of like commercial breaks for you to work on exercises or for normal breaks. There is a Zoom for some people. And if you're there, you can work on exercises when you're there. Um, there's many different parts. So there's talking and demos, which is on the live stream. There's type along where we're typing and you should also be typing at the same time. There's exercises where we tell you what to do and then you have time to do it yourself. And we have breaks at least 10 minutes every hour, usually towards the top of the hour. For chat and communication. So we've already gone over the notes here. So the idea is you register, you get this link, you can switch to edit mode and you ask questions and bullet points and you make answers or other people make answers. We have a whole bunch of people who are here to do this. So just ask whatever you want, whatever. So the biggest problem that you might experience is that there's too many questions and you can't follow them all. In that case, just don't. I mean, ask your question, come back later, come read it later, search for what you need. But there's definitely gonna be too many questions asked for you to follow them all. So don't don't let that trip you up. Um, I guess people have figured out the view and edit modes. So the notes are public. So don't include any names there or other identifying information, please. We will remove that right away. And also try to remove it before archival, but better to just do it right now. So can everyone go to the notes now and try to answer the icebreaker if you haven't done it already? So that is this here that I was sharing before. Okay, so where do you focus? So yeah, there's so much there. So the first priority should be the screen share and what we're talking. If you have time, then your own type along. Um, then if you're bored or have a bunch of extra mental capacity, you can start browsing the notes and seeing what else is there, what other questions. Um, and then the lesson web page, if that's relevant to what we're talking about. So we have this really unique vertical screen share. The idea is to um, make it big and it takes half your screen and the other half is for you. 
after you've experienced this, you'll wonder why other courses don't do this because it just makes so much sense. Um, as Simo had said, you can go to Twitch and make sure it's on source resolution and not auto to keep it as high as possible. So we want to be accessible to many learning styles and not everyone has to take the same path. So some people may prefer to watch passively and do the exercises and self-study later. Some people might be active in all the exercises. You might leave this on in the background while you do other things. You might miss a part and want to review videos later in the evening. So to answer the Twitch chat question, yes, this is being recorded. Twitch will have it right away and we'll have processed videos on YouTube by this evening. Um, yeah, so please be nice to all the community and be respectful to each other. So um, teaching is a pretty difficult thing to do and there's many things going on. This is a live course, so yeah, things will go wrong. It's okay, please follow along with us anyway. Everyone's at different skill levels, that's okay. Please help each other. Everyone is somehow both a teacher and a learner. We learn from you and you learn from us. Um, if you're in any small groups or whatever, take the time to check in and ask, um, how's it going? Does anyone need help? Things like that. We try to do that often with feedback. And when something isn't right, then speak up very quickly. Especially if you can't see something you need to see or you can't hear something, like our audio is bad. Just tell us, hey, like we're not following, please do something. And we'll fix that right away. Okay, what can and most certainly will go wrong? So as I said, you can get overloaded with information. This is definitely going to happen. And as we said, you know, um, take a step back and be more passive and realize you can come back to it later. The notes, uh, this should say notes and not HackMD. It's too fast to follow. So then don't follow it. It's published for future reference. So just hide it and remove it as a distraction. Um, if the notes lag and you can't edit, that sometimes happens. So um, we try to keep it short, but then switch to view mode and wait a little bit for it to um, calm down some. There's an archive that's posted and a link should be at the top and use that for the um, stuff that has been removed. If we don't have time to cover everything, well, that's just a fact, we won't. There's far more that we can cover than we have time to. So we aim to give a big summary and to start you on your learning path, but all the materials there for you to review and come back to later. We deviate from the schedule. Well, we'll try to stay on track, but it's gonna happen sometimes. We'll adapt to what people are interested in. If there's major accessibility problems, like the audio quality is bad, the screen isn't visible, uh, you need a break, but we're not doing it, our explanation is completely unintelligible, write the problem right away and say, hey, I don't understand this, or we have this problem. Our instructors will see this and we will do something. Um, let's see, if the stream suddenly dies, that means my computer has crashed. In that case, wait a few minutes and it will come back. Uh, if you're missing something important for the course, well, um, sorry, that's okay. Um, wait and come back the next day and work on it. If you can't attend every day, that's okay. If a cat visits us, well, that's the opposite of a problem. And I'll make sure to turn on my video so everyone can see it. Expect it later in the day, some. Um, if you want to know more, ask around. So as final note, the course is recorded. Everything will be put on YouTube. Um, you cannot possibly be in the video because of the way we're doing it as live stream. That's the whole point here. But don't add names to notes or anything like that. Anything you write in the notes will be published with a CC license. So everyone that follows you will be able to um, follow up on it. Um, do we assign credits for this course right now? No, we don't. Okay, yeah. Um, and please join us for future courses or things like that. Um, you can join our chats, join Code Refinery, and take part next time. Okay, that's my part. Um, is there anything in the notes for the intro now? No, nothing special, but 
please people feel free to add whatever questions you might have. Okay. So that's the intro. So who's next for the screen? Yeah, 